Hey everybody, Mike here. I spend a lot of time on my channel talking about satellites, but I learn by doing. So I've decided it's time to build my own satellite. And when it's ready, I'm gonna get it launched into orbit. So what's this? Let's call it version zero. This is a 10 centimeter cube, 10 centimeters on each side, just under four inches. And this is the same size as a 1U CubeSat, 1 unit CubeSat. They also have 2U CubeSats, which is two of these side by side, 3U, which is three, six, which kind of goes double wide, and so on. This is kind of the smallest practical satellite. Now, people have built smaller satellites. I covered Swarm Technologies who built kind of a uh, a quarter U and had it launched into orbit, many, many of them. But this is kind of the, let's say, the smallest of, of practical satellites, one U. And for many purposes, this actually qualifies as a CubeSat. You could actually get it launched into orbit. Now, this cube is just made out of plastic, so probably a launch provider would not actually launch it for you. But it serves a purpose that it kind of illustrates how I want to go about building a satellite. I want to build the minimum viable satellite. What's the least amount of satellite I can build to actually have it qualified for launch? And once I've got that absolute bare minimum, then I can keep iterating on the design, keep adding new capabilities, new features, you know, make it more than just a lump of, of plastic or aluminum, adding capabilities. And the idea is once I've got, even if it's just a hunk of aluminum, once I've got a, a launchable satellite, then I can keep iterating on the design and the build, while in parallel I'm trying to find a launch provider who will launch it to orbit. And that's really why I'm making this video now. A few years ago, Launching a CubeSat like this would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. But due largely to SpaceX and the success of their Falcon 9 rocket, the cost to launch a kilogram of mass, a small satellite like this, satellite like this into orbit, has dramatically been reduced. It's gotten so much cheaper that it's actually now feasible for just some guy on YouTube like me, to actually build a satellite and conceivably get it launched into orbit. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So launching a hunk of aluminum into orbit isn't really that interesting. So while I like the exercise of that iterative design, there's kind of a few bare minimums that I'd like to have ready before anything got launched into orbit. So there's a few different kind of parallel tracks that I need to work on to kind of make a practical CubeSat. The first is the physical design. Like I said, a hunk of aluminum technically could qualify, but really it has to be a chassis that you can then put the electronics and your payload inside to safely carry it to orbit. It also needs some kind of electronics. So that usually means a battery. It needs some kind of power, some kind of solar panels to keep those batteries charged longer than you know a few hours, some kind of payload, some kind of computer that's going to keep track of the satellite, the charging batteries, and I think to kind of round out the bare minimum, some kind of communication. Even if it's just sending its current status, kind of a beacon back down to Earth, it needs some way to send a signal back to Earth, whether that's a radio signal or like a super bright flashing light. It needs some way to tell me, us, you, down on Earth, kind of what it's up to. Is it still alive? What's it doing? What's it measuring? Um, and then usually on top of that, you've got some kind of payload, the thing that's doing something practical, whether that's something scientific, uh, whether it's testing new sensors or taking images of something, but some practical purpose that sits on top of those bare minimum 
elements. So physical design, electronic design, of course, the launch provider, trying to line up somebody who will actually put it in orbit for me and to figure out their requirements. What does it actually need to do? Do we need to vibration test it? Do we need to have it qualified in some way before they'll actually consider putting it on their rocket? Really just exploring everything that there is to do to get a satellite launched into orbit. So all those things all have to come together to successfully put my new satellite into orbit. When I've told people that I was planning on doing this, the number one question that people asked is, okay, that's interesting, but what, what is it going to do in orbit? What's it for? And I've got some ideas, but really, I don't know. So what I'd love is down in the comments below, let me know what you think would be an interesting purpose for a satellite like this to go into orbit. What would you make it do? Um, and just overall, let me know what you think about the project. So it's not going to be a fast project. Uh, this is going to take a huge amount of time and effort to actually get all these pieces into place, integrate it, and actually get someone to launch it. If you're interested in following the progress, definitely subscribe down below. I'm also going to do other videos about Starlink and other space things, just like always, but this is going to be a project that I'm working on in the background uh, over the course of the year and beyond. So definitely follow along. I'm excited about the new project and I'll keep you posted. Until then, see you next time.